My favorite memory of Catherine is the way that she so cleverly introduced me to Teddy Cutler and somehow got us to co-chair the capital campaign for the new for the new building. Early on in the old building, um, at the end of the day when, when we'd be getting ready to go, she'd always walk into the lunchroom and uh, make sure that the dishes were washed, the refrigerator was cleaned out, um, the counters were clean, and, and I always thought that was just so uh, silly uh, for the president to be uh, cleaning up the lunchroom, but I guess she just couldn't uh, couldn't get past his motherly instincts um, and sort of a reflection on her attention to detail and just uh, concern for all all facets of the organization, large and small. Catherine relayed how she'd grown up in a family with with a restaurant and how her father at the end of the evening would feed the homeless or the less fortunate the extra food from the restaurant that night. As successful as she's been at the food bank, it's, it's sort of never enough. And she's constantly looking to see what's next, what's more they can do, uh, how to get more involved. And I think I've, uh, I always have those memories of Catherine when I know when she calls, it's going to be, you know, what big project can we work on together? And every year Catherine comes out to speak to the kids. And last year when we were here, Catherine came out and spoke as usual. But the group of kids we had were very special, and Catherine does a great job of explaining what the food bank does and the need out there in the community. I remember looking at the kids when she was talking, and, and many of these kids, are, are they're all very needy, but many of them, I could tell, had been recipients of aid from the food bank. And this made a profound impact on me. And, uh, and I'm sure it did on, on Catherine as well. The kids really got it. When I told Catherine that I would help her raise the money for the new home of, of the food bank, just the look on her face was enough to make me feel happy. At one of the galas when she stood up and sang her heart out from the, one of the galleys in the warehouse. When she came to our Colleague Appreciation Week celebration at Fenway Park, she sang to over 1,000 of our Citizens Bank colleagues. And it was really an opportunity for all of us to say thank you to her for all the good work that she does with the Greater Boston Food Bank helping our neighbors in need. The Greater Boston Food Bank, all the employees, and um, we were having dinner in a restaurant in Brookline. It was called The Veronique, and Catherine started it singing. I never knew that she was a singer. When she was way up high on the back of a forklift and they whipped her around the corner and kind of um, came screeching to a halt, and she gave her speech from there and I said, wow, that woman would do anything to ask a crowd for money. Catherine's greatest accomplishment since she's been at the Greater Boston Food Bank has to be the building. Giving the city of Boston the opportunity to see the wonderful new, the wonderful new food bank that was built because of Catherine. The fact that she built an incredible state-of-the-art 117,000 square foot facility uh, that now distributes about 50 million pounds of food each year. Just being in the architectural community in Boston, I know that building is, is looked at as a very sort of significant achievement, um, sort of uh, positioned at the gateway to the city. Um, and I think also from a functional standpoint, uh, it's gonna leave a, a a really lasting legacy. Not only did we get it built efficiently on time and on budget, but also it's been pushed to capacity in a very short amount of time. A lot more doors, feeding more people, uh, more trucks, transportation, and uh, more employees. It has provided a huge amount of space, uh, increased amount of space to store more food and therefore vastly increased the amount of people that could be fed, and that is an accomplishment. And once it was built and everything was done, she then had to make it work operationally. And, and that, I think she did a fantastic job. But second to that, and in conjunction with that, is her ability to connect with multiple communities, educating people, letting people know what the work is that the Greater Boston Food Bank does, and also how far-reaching it is. She knows how to bring everybody to the table for the common goal of helping others, and she's not afraid to uh, knock on any door or pick up the phone and um, I think it's, it's uh, obviously the results are just uh, quite impressive.
the wide array of partnerships she's developed with countless folks uh, in the community, whether that's corporate funders, whether that's other nonprofit organizations, uh, government entities. Catherine's built a wide array of partnerships that have really benefited our neighbors in need. One word that I would use to describe Catherine is awesomely tenacious. Tenacious, energetic. Impressive. Effective. Determined. A force. Absolutely brilliant. Creative. Compassion. Caring. Thank you for 20 years of unwavering commitment. Thank you for 20 years of your dedication. Thank you for 20 years of unwavering dedication and support for our community. Thank you for 30 years of working together to help feed the hungry in our communities. Thank you for 20 years of professional stewardship and your ability to teach a thousand volunteers as well as staff the importance of the work they do to make the lives of those in need easier. Thank you. On behalf of all of us at Citizens Bank, thank you for 20 years of dedicated service to the Greater Boston Food Bank and to our neighbors in need. Thank you for 20 years of friendship, guidance, vision, compassion, and love. Thank you for 20 years of making a huge positive difference in the lives of the neediest families of our community. Thank you for 20 years of caring and making my life better. Mom, thank you for 20 years of being a kick-ass, world-class food banker.